Hey, Grace Church, Michael Campbell here, family pastor. Hey, this Sunday, the kids are going to go through the uh, the book of 1 Samuel, chapters 1 to 3, about how God provided for Hannah. And so before we get into that lesson, I want to make sure, hey, as parents and guardians, how do we prepare our hearts as primary discipleship makers, but also how do we equip and and walk alongside our children as they head into this weekend so that we can receive this uh, lesson and story with a willing and able heart. Um, when was the last time that that you prayed fervently to God? Um, what did you need? And did he answer in the way that um, you expected? I mean, typically that's not always the case. And so in this story, when Hannah wanted a baby, she cried out to God, with great earnestness, so much that the priest Eli thought she was drunk. And Hannah had confidence that God heard her prayer anyway. And she understood that one of the evidences of understanding and the belief that God hears and answers our prayers is persistence in prayer and having that discipline. And so Hannah prayed with a passion and bitterness of heart that looked to God at first and fixed her gaze upon the Lord only. She didn't even notice Eli was watching her. She believed that God heard and that God acted as a result of our small prayers. And so she prayed with a passion because she believed that God heard her. But what if our prayers seem to not be heard? And, and Hannah is a great example for us of what one of my favorite theologians, C, uh, Charles Spurgeon, said, he's like, frequently the richest answers are not the speediest. A prayer may be all the longer on its voyage because it is bringing us a heavier freight of blessing. Delayed answers are not only trials of faith, but they give us an opportunity of honoring God by our steadfast confidence in him under apparent repulses. So finally, Hannah's persistence in prayer showed that she understood that she couldn't fix her situation, but the all-powerful God who hears and acts, he can. Now, the next year, Hannah came with a baby in her arms, a baby that she named Samuel, which means God heard. So Samuel's life was a constant reminder to Hannah that all of Israel and that God lives and he hears and he acts. And so as we prepare to lead our children, grandchildren, remember that even prayers that seem to be delayed are, are meant to actually strengthen our resolve to pray and to honor God with a confidence that, that can't be shaken. And so we serve a God who hears us, and because he hears us, no prayers are too small or too big that we can bring to him. And so it's a really important lesson that God's timing may be different than ours, but the posture of our heart, it's not the position of what we do and on our knees and making sure your eyes are closed and your hands together. No, it's rather the posture of your heart and the dependence that we have for our creator who who hears and he acts for us because he loves us deeply. And so the rest of this thread, there'll be more questions and discussion points. But until next week, God bless and take care.